Hi everybody. So today I wanted to take a quick look at um, Fedora Linux 20 Heisenberg. You can go ahead and download it here. I'm looking at the um, GNOME Shell version. Let me show you a little bit of the details on this one. So it's uh, version 3.10.2, which is pretty close to the uh, most recent version, if not the most recent version right now. So this is Firefox. So of course you got the snapping, which uh, which is nice because if we go into one of the nice features of GNOME Shell is being able to go side by side uh, right here, and there's literally no. Uh, seen between windows which comes in really handy if you're going to um, work with uh, two windows at the same time. So let's say you're pulling in some information and copying and pasting it maybe into a WordPress blog or whatever. That's that's useful although um, you do that in most uh, um, distributions. Now if Gnome Shell isn't your thing. You can always check out some of the spins. So let's take a look at their download page. Of course, they offer you their um, their uh, desktop edition, which is Gnome. And you can go over here. And usually there's an ad for spins. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Security, their design suite. Again, that's using Gnome Shell. And of course, different desktop environments. So they always have an XFCE version, a KDE, LXDE, gamer version, lab design suite, scientific KDE. A lot of cool versions there. So um, if, if one version doesn't fit you the best, I definitely suggest checking out some of the other desktops. Let's see what else this has to offer. So we've got Firefox, and you saw the terminal there. We have a software center, and although I did add the um, RPM Fusion, which comes in extremely handy if you want to uh, add some extra codecs and stuff that doesn't ship, the uh, will allow you to add free and non-free codecs. Non-free codecs in the sense that you can um, get Adobe Flash running out of the box. If well, not out of the box, but Let's take a quick look here. If you go over to YouTube, it will tell me that I need to install Flash. So whatever. And uh, that's OK, because uh, you could always use a VLC to uh, watch Flash video anyway, which I might as well illustrate, because I actually added VLC to the um, distribution. Let's check this out really quick. Let's grab anything at random. So you just grab the URL here. I am going to add another tab here. So, whoop. So, Sorry about that, that was a bit loud. But uh, as you can see, it runs perfectly fine running through VLC. Great way of getting around um, uh, YouTube itself, especially if you're using a lower resources computer. All right, let's take a look at some pre-installed applications. You could download some extra software here. A video player, there's uh, settings. usual uh, GNOME applications. I added VLC Media Player. LibreOffice Writer did come with it. Etsy Linux Troubleshooter. That's great. If it'll, it actually works pretty well. There's the Orca Screen Reader. Release Notes, Utilities, and I'm hoping it comes with no, it comes with uh, disks, which is the uh, GNOME version uh, of, of um, Gparted, essentially. Screenshotter. So yeah, if you're interested in what um, vanilla GNOME looks like, 
as you can see I can control my microphone since it's activated. Um, this is definitely a good distribution to check out. There's been a lot of good changes. A lot of cool interesting features. And since you're using Fedora, it's actually a lot more stable than it's been in the past. Um, in my case, I'm running it on Intel hardware, and so there's not a lot of stuff it needs to be compatible with. But if you're having Wi-Fi problems, uh, chances are adding RPM Fusion will resolve any Wi-Fi problems you have here. So you can get that over at rpmfusion.org configuration. And of course, uh, you could always grab the non-free stuff while you're at it and uh, end up with a really usable system. And just for the heck of it, let's take a quick look. HTOP, you can see I'm using um, FFmpeg and Pulse Audio to pull this video together. So it's actually running three threads and I'm running about 20, uh, 27 frames per second. So you can see I'm using up a ton of resources, but that's uh, intent, 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 intentional. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys at the next video. Take it easy. Bye.